The planning process of our documentary was essential because we had to be organised and progressive with how we began to plan and the more for a planning we gathered the more successful our documentary will be. We began to brainstorm various ideas for the content of our documentary having an open wider view on what we were planning to create. We wanted to choose a, a topic that could have two sided opinions however it could also be very informative. We did this by brainstorming from using the internet for ideas and looking at other documentaries to see if we could gather any inspiration. The other documentaries we looked at were the other six documentaries we explored and analysed together for the codes and conventions. Once we had agreed on our topic, the supernatural, but mostly focusing on fortune telling, we began to brainstorm the content of our documentary. We did this from our secondary research, which was done from using the software on the internet, gathering all our knowledge about fortune telling. When looking at most of our research, we noticed that the media had a huge involvement with fortune telling, through advertisements, celebrities, TV and film. We explored the reasons why people get their fortunes read and concluded the media has a huge involvement within this. We then further explored into the content. We then further explored into more content by visiting libraries, taking images using hardware equipment. No, wait. We then further explored into the content by visiting libraries, taking images using hardware equipment such as the stills camera. This helps us gather a visual progressive movement into our research and planning of our documentary. The media technologies we used for the first few steps of the planning were mostly internet and camera and recording our progression. Once, once we had organised what topic we were going to do, we each shared the roles of writing the proposal which in a brief statement included all the details of our documentary, i.e. time, date, topic, ECT. Then we moved on to the running order. Storyboarding, locations, location sheets, organising the interview questions and planning of the days when to film. To create the running order we felt we all and had to be together. So as a group we created this from our brainstorm of our content, focusing on each shot and ensuring it fitted into an estimated five minutes. Then when organising the interviews we rang up our interviewees, planned and organised certain dates where we were free and fitted all our filming schedule around the two weeks around those dates. Then from planning the dates of film and what to film, organising, make sure we get exactly what we wanted and what we visualised. The software for this planning was Microsoft Word to create tables, running orders and elements to present our planning effectively. To visualise each shot of how the documentary is going to work successfully and so we can use a basis when we are filming, we had to create a detailed storyboard of each shot of the whole documentary and the separate interviews involved involving cutaways. For a storyboard we planned each shot and then I took home and drew them up using the hardware and scanning them in onto the computer so we could put them on the blog as evidence, as evidence of planning each shot. It was a challenge planning each shot as we found it difficult to visualise the shots and how they would link into one another, especially because we had our own ideas. We took it step by step in sections, using ideas of how we would introduce each first section and then looking at the transitions and that would make our documentary more fluent. It was also a challenge to write up the running order as it was very similar how you had to describe the time and each shot and we found it hard to estimate the time of each shot because we couldn't show it visually. So we did an average as it wasn't accurate when we actually created our film. During the filming, we then began to use Premiere to capture all of our film. We had to begin to write a log sheet which was written, which was writing in each captured shot length, short description of the shot, and if it was good or bad to use in our film. This meant we could refer to this when editing to see what we had previously decided on to use. We then created the logging decision list and the edit decision list on the Microsoft Word to create tables ensuring it was clearer and easy to read using the tools available on this software. Done.